Example of linear pair of angles. In the figure given below, angles AOC, that means this angle, and angle BOC, that means this angle, form a linear pair. If x minus y is 110 degrees, find x and y. So here in this question, we have to find the value of x and y. Let's discuss the approaches which we can take for solving this question. Here, we have to find the value of x and y based on the information that x and y form a linear pair and x minus y is equal to 110 degrees. Can't we directly say that x is equal to 120 degrees and y is equal to 10 degrees? Or for that matter, x is equal to 150 degrees and y is equal to 40 degrees? In both these cases, x minus y will come out as 110 degrees. But we can't do this because x and y form a linear pair and sum of x and y should be 180 degrees which is not the case here. Which is not happening in these two cases. So for solving this question, we have a constraint that we cannot select the values of x and y arbitrarily. Values of x and y should be selected such that x plus y because they form a linear pair should be equal to 180 degrees and x minus y should be equal to 110 degrees. Now we can solve these two equations and find the values of x and y. Now let's solve this question. We know that x and y form a linear pair. So that means x plus y is equal to 180 degrees. Call this as 1. Also, given in the question is x minus y is equal to 110 degrees. Call this as 2. So let's see how can we solve equations 1 and 2. In equation 1 we have plus y and in equation 2 we have minus y. So if we add the two, these two will get cancelled. So adding equation 1 and 2 we will have x plus y plus x minus y is equal to 180 degrees plus 110 degrees. This implies cancelling plus y with minus y. 2x is equal to 290 degrees. This implies x is equal to 290 degrees by 2 that is equal to 145 degrees. So value of x we have found out to be 145 degrees. Now we have to find the value of y. Put x is equal to 145 degrees in equation 1. This implies in equation 1 in place of x we can write 145 degrees plus y is equal to 180 degrees. This implies y is equal to 180 degrees minus 145 degrees. This implies y is equal to 35 degrees. So y we have obtained as 35 degrees. So this is what we had to find in the question value of x and y x is 145 degrees and y 35 degrees.